We are on online learning week eight. Our photography module continues and you have one lecture 14 called the industrial revolution setting the stage for photography to watch. That is a five minute lecture by Miss Hargis and it connects with one of the assignments that is due on Friday, the lecture response flip grid. There are three questions in that flip grid that you need to answer, but you have to watch lecture 14 to be able to answer them. Right now you are watching the photo essay intro video ed puzzle. That is due Tuesday. Everything else is due Friday. That is because I'm about to dig into this photo essay project that is due next Wednesday. We think that you need a little bit more time than just a week. So we're giving you a week and a half to really explore this photo essay project that I'm about to go into. Um, and then last but not least here, we have one more Ed Puzzle, the history of photography that is due Friday. All of you know where our Zoom office hours are, how to get in touch with us. So I'm just gonna dig right into this project. We can find all the details in our modules, our photography module. At the very end, you're gonna see where it says, photo essay. So let's dig right into that. First of all, if you're wondering what is a photo essay, it is an essay where you are taking six photographs. You must be the photographer of these six photographs. You have two different types that you can choose from. You can either create a narrative photo essay or you can create a thematic photo essay. If you're choosing narrative, that means you are focusing on a story that you are telling the viewer. If you are doing thematic, that means you're speaking to a specific subject. You are going to be going down here to this Google slide template to actually uh, create your photo essay. And we'll look at that at the very end. But before that, let's take a look at your other options here. So we want you to be looking at the prompt wall. This prompt wall has prompts from the book. Use this if you wanna take great photographs, a photo journal. If that sounds familiar, it should be because I have 20 of those sitting back in my digital literacy classroom that's empty right now. Uh, and these are all prompts from that book. So we are just taking that book and we are turning it to an online format. You can look at the hashtag use this book if you want to see other photographers, student photographers, uh, and even professional photographers who have taken some of those prompts uh, and turned them into um, wonderful works of art, basically. So let's look at our prompt wall right here. We have a chart of all sorts of wonderful prompts that you can dig into. Uh, combine two images to make something surreal. Capture someone's subconscious. Take a photograph that shouts. Take a picture of yourself pretending to be yourself. A lot of these are very big topics. Uh, these are big prompts that you have to really sit and chew on. Uh, to figure out how you want to capture them in a photograph, which is why we're giving you more than a week to work on this. You'll notice some of these have an asterisk around them. All you have to do is click here at the very top because it means that those prompts, the prompt will be written above and there'll be some kind of corresponding photo beneath it with a caption to kind of get you to understand what it is they're wanting you to do. So we have a whole bunch of those asterisk prompts right here um, where they have the corresponding photo right underneath it just to kind of expand your knowledge on or the idea of how you want to interpret it okay so let's go back to this project here that was just the prompt wall if you're choosing a theme that you really want to dig into here are some themes we want you to consider maybe your six photos are going to uh, dig into the word time or invisibility or freedom, or transformation. Please make sure you're only choosing one of these theme words. Do not create uh, a photo series with more than one of these words because then your photo essay uh, just gets a little confusing for the viewer to understand. The third link here is a link that gives you examples. 
there are eight different examples that you can look through. Some of these are very serious topics. Some of them are not so much. Like one of the ones not so much is this one where a photographer is putting dogs and people side by side for you to see the resemblance of either kind of their characteristic or, or coloring. So I'll just show you a few of these because they're silly. BuzzFeed does a great job with, um, you know, showing us photo series. They do a lot of these photo essays, actually, um, because they're, they're things that they know people will want to look at. They're compelling, even though they're not very serious. <laughs> All right. So going back to our project. <laughs> Down here, this is a template that you are going to use. So I'm going to click on that. Do, do, do. And the first thing you're going to want to do when this opens up, you want to make a copy of it. I apologize that my computer is running so slow. Uh, battery is dying and I'm not near my cord. So what you're going to do when this pops up, you're going to go to file and you're going to hit make a copy. Now, everything that you see in red, all of that text, that is for you to edit. We do not want to see this red text sitting there, okay? Um, here's me showing you where that file button is. Ba -ba -bum. And then here's where you're saying you want to make a copy. As soon as you hit that, then you're going to say you want to make a copy of the entire presentation, okay? then you can edit everything on here. Again, everything in red is for you to write in. Um, slide two talks about um, the background. This is like setting up me, the viewer, to know what it is I'm about to explore. So you need to decide what words you need to write here so that I will understand what journey you're about to take me on through your six photographs. And then you're going to see a whole list of uh, photo templates right here. Please get rid of these photos we have in there. Um, that is for you to put your own photos in. And everything that's in red, you need to rewrite that stuff. You're writing the prompt that you're choosing, why that image fulfills the prompt. Is there extra information we need, like a caption, a line from a poem, anything like that. Make sure you're titling every image. That is important. And remember, this is just to let you know you can change the theme, the layout, the colors of this whole slideshow. Feel free to make this your own and for it to really um, best represent your theme or your story. This is your photo essay. It is due next Wednesday, not this Wednesday. And uh, Ms. Hargis and I cannot wait to see what stories, what themes you are going to explore. Um, we are ready to go on the journey with you.